Okay, so here we have John Deere. Ninety six twenty R New Holland T nine five six five Case Quattro. So we're gonna do higher tab, higher tab, higher. And they're off. Both the Case Quadtrek and John Deere 9620R are pulling away from the New Holland. The 9620R is actually pulling away from the Case Quadtrek, even though, well, looks like the Quadtrek has regained its footing. It is now pulling away from the 9620R. The track's a significant advantage, it appears, over wheels. The you know, well, New Holland is you know someone has to finish last. You know, I mean it's, it just has to happen. You know, now that I look at it, it looks like the quad track might even be going up a steeper grade. Really pulling away now. Hear that turbo working? It's about a. Uh, a little over uh, about a half a tractor length in front. I have no idea which way they're going to be turning, but uh, awesome. Case definitely. Definitely won the race to the turn. Quad tracks first out of the gate. Still maintaining that lead over the deer. New Holland finally puts its implement back on the ground. screaming on the John Deere trying to keep up with the case I'm surprised at how how that New Holland is doing keeping up pretty well Quadtrack extended its lead. <sighs> well, it would appear that the Quadtrack is still superior in these new generation tractors. New Holland has called it a day. Turbo gun. Very interesting. I do believe the OEM's real terrain mod has something to do with the uh, the the track versus. Higher. Overall, it's its third pass, and the difference 
you know, it was pretty consistent. Although the quad track is working steeper terrain. Interesting little competition. 